Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Diddy Kong Racing Time Trials Tournament. We are now in the semifinals. We have a matchup between the number one seeded Nordic Boa and the number four seeded Sweener Dog. Um, this is definitely a clash of titans, and they're seeding in the. I guess yeah, that would be their seeding uh, for average finish in the tour uh, in overall time trials. Um, so first pick we have is Space Dust Alley Hover, a track which both of them are very good at. So I'm much looking forward to this. Oh no, Swinger having some issues. He bonks the tree, which can definitely happen. Nordic having a pretty nice time so far though. He does miss catching some of those bananas in Swinger. I think he has a bigger banana count, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, Nordic flying so far, he actually grabbed the upper banana. I do not think I've seen that, but still a couple of seconds between them to start. Space Dust Alley Hover likely are um, being the most consistent version of Space Dust Alley. That, um, and honestly, Sweeter's not having a not having a bad time at all. It's just he had a little little bit of difficulty there. Um, both players, I believe, are over ten bananas. Um, so that so the count of bananas doesn't matter after you hit. Uh, 10, but Sweener actually having a faster lap than Nordic, so we'll see how this goes. If Sweener, uh, oh no, Nordic making a huge mistake, and Sweener, oh, if he had got a better boost, I think it would be a lot more closer than it is right now. As it stands, they're very close. Um, oh, and Nordic with a huge bonk! So, Sweener, oh man. Nordic with a very rough third lap, which actually gives Sweener um, the first track, which was no, which was Sweener's own pick. They're 134 to 136. Um, both players are very proficient, I would say, at everything, because uh, I think you have to be to be uh, number one and number four in time trials. Um, and Nordic picking Ancient Lake Car, which I definitely think is. Uh, perhaps a risky pick, but also something that he feels very com- I feel like he feels very confident on, but it could, again, go either way, uh, if somebody misses a boost, misses a couple bananas here and there, um, but we'll see how this goes. So, the track that was banned, because Sweener won the toss, he opted to play Space to Sally Hover, and Nordic opted to ban Jungle Falls, so we will not see Jungle Falls today. Um... Which is a track that I enjoy playing, but so this is Ancient Lake. It is a bit different than you would see in um, most. Uh, I guess it would be RTA style. It looks like Nordic with a slower. With these guys are pretty much neck and neck the whole way. This is actually crazy. This is gonna come down to like probably frames, honestly. Sweeter with a slightly faster second lap than Nordic, but Nordic having a slightly faster first lap. Um, gosh, this is going to come down to sync, honestly. I don't know who's going to win this. Wow. I say Sweener probably took it. Yeah. No, Nordic took it. Oh my gosh. 0 0.05. That is how insane these... That is super insane. Holy cow. I actually thought that Sweener would win. I, looked at, I thought he got in a frame early, but I think it was just... How it went. Nor uh, Sweener actually almost PBing right there. So we have Fossil Canyon and Hover as the next pick. We're going through our we're going through Dino Domain right now. <clears throat> so so far we have a hover, uh, two hovers in a car. So in the first nine courses we need three hovers, three hovercraft tracks three plane tracks and three car tracks so we'll keep uh hopefully a decent track with that <laughs> i'm sure these players are doing it um on the side when they're doing it so here we are fossil canyon hover we're gonna see both players grab their bananas here and they're gonna boost across the lake um oh nordic bonking on the top of it um i think he's more than capable of obviously making this up but right now sweener with a with a decently decent lead for lap one, he's gonna be about two seconds ahead just because of it. Yeah, he's about a second, a little over a second ahead. But 
uh, Nordic with some huge boosts. Let's see if he can catch up. Ooh, missing the boost, but he didn't... And he kind of had an awkward positioning there and misses the zipper. So Sweener now well far ahead. He could easily make some mistakes and Nordic could catch up. Um, but Sweener is such a consistent hover player. He's such a good hover player. Like, I... I um, would have a hard time. Well, there's a little bit of an opening for Nordic. Let's see if he can catch up. Um, unless Tr Sweener has some nasty bonks here, which he doesn't. Yeah, Sweener's gonna take this track and go up two to one. So we're seeing a very, very close to even matchup between these two. 110, 83, 107, 76, and like I would probably come in saying Nordic is the favorite, and but Sweener is definitely not a bad player at all. So, I think Sweener could easily take this. So we have Hot Top Volcano Plane picked by Nordic. I, I think that's a good pick for him because he also because he recently got the world record with a 54. Um, and I know that he's gonna go ahead and switch to drumstick here. And uh, Sweener is gonna opt. Oh, uh, Sweener is opting for TT. I want to say I don't think he switched characters. Um, and, but we'll see once they reach, once they we get into this track. <clears throat> so right now we have three one in favor, or two one in favor of Sweener. Nordic looking to tie things up. Really, this is going to be a, 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 a give and take to see who can win. There, who yeah. So uh, Sweener is on TT. Um, and I think the wow. So so they are pretty close to start. But you're going to see Nordic take a decent lead because of how good Drumstick's barrel rolls are. He gains more speed. Oh, an awful bonk for Sweener. Um, and Nordic looks like he's going to have a very, very good first lap. A 22 first lap. While uh, Sweener's going to have a 26 first lap. So that right there is four seconds lost. And Sweener, because barrel rolling in that tunnel area is very difficult. Like, for both TT and Drumstick. Um, but Sweeney are looking to have a better time on this lap. Nordic just barrel, just barreling ahead with a 20 lap. Uh, oh, having a little bit of difficulty, but he does reroute himself, so he doesn't, um, so he doesn't have any super difficult time. So it looks like Nordic's gonna take it here with a little over a minute, likely. <clears throat> yeah, and Sweeney's gonna finish. He had a. Like, that one bonk is just so super rough. He didn't do anything else really wrong that entire time. And got a 107. And I do like the, the Hot Top pick. Because it takes away Hot Top Volcano Hover from Sweener. Which I'm pretty sure he'd be much more comfortable on than in plane. Um, but yeah. You saw there that uh, he was able to get a lead even in the beginning. Because Drumstick, you get a higher barrel roll speed with Drumstick, which is why he's favorite on all the, quite a bit of these courses. So we do have tied up two to two. Uh, let's see where, what Sweener picks now. There's only one more hover track that can be picked and there are two of each, plane and uh, plane and car that have to be picked. <clears throat> so where he's gonna play, he's gonna go for Everfrost Peak Car. I, I really like this pick um, because I think that it's a track that he's pretty comfortable with, um, but it's also a track that has some very rough terrain, and so I think he could um, take this. Even though I, Nordic's really, really good at EP car. Like that's the thing. He has a 102. I believe that's world record um, on EP car. I'll check that. Um, Yeah, he holds world record by about a second. So let's see how this starts out. Both players here are going to grab this boost and they're going to fly. Both players doing a good job. Sweener had a little better of a better line, so he will have some advantage going into this. But let's see how this uh, how the tunnel section plays out. Both players grabbing two bananas, boosting. Pretty clean sections for both. Sweener does connect the zippers pretty well. So he's going to have about a one second. He's going to have like a little bit of an advantage both players a beautiful boost but they're pretty much neck and neck here honestly this is so much fun to watch holy cow so ooh, wow great boost for both both grabbing it nordic having a little bit of difficulty with the zippers there 
So Sweener will take advantage. Will take advantage and will be ahead by about one second going into this. Um, so yeah, this is really this will be really good for Sweener because if he keeps winning these tracks that he picks, um, I'm not sure if he'll land with last pick, but because he did have first pick, but wow, he's gonna take this by about by a, about a half a second. That's insane. He had three insane boosts. So like, th yeah, very close. Very, very close. That was awesome. Like, Nordic had a better lap by about a... Like, he really caught up in that last lap. But Sweener was just too far ahead after the miss after um, the mishap on lap two for... <clears throat> for Nordic. So this is just going back and forth. Like I said, I think this is just going to come down to who wins on the other person's pick. So... Uh... Nordic hovering Greenwood. I wonder if he's gonna pick Greenwood hover or if he's gonna pick. No, I think he's just looking at tracks. Like Nordic has a variety of picks. I would really expect him to go. Wow, he goes for Star City Plane. This this is a risky pick. I know Nordic's been playing this lately, and I'm pretty sure that he's recently claimed some time that was the world record for him. I'm gonna look at the. Uh, times between them and their times are about two seconds apart nordic having a 112 and sweener with the 114 nordic having world record and having world record uh, that he just claimed not to that he claimed like a little bit ago on this track but he's been playing it like wait no that's no that's the wrong version apparently star city playing there's actually a much bigger gap there's about five seconds I'm sorry, and I'm like looking at all these straps while this is going on. And Nordic out to a lead here. Um, but this track has so many bonks. Oh, Sweener missing the ground zipper. Falling rather far behind to Nordic, who's having a very good Star City plane. Um, but it's only going to be a few seconds, and there's many bonks that can happen. So if Nordic has a bad bonk here at all... Um, Sweener will easily catch up, but it does not look like he's having a bad bomb. And both players are doing great jobs with the barrel roll into the, the tunnel. That's really good to see. Both, but really, the only thing that happened to Sweener is I don't think he hit the ground zippers. Like, other than that, he's been having a very good Star City plane. But he's still like six, seven seconds behind. Yeah. Nordic just far and away ahead of him. <clears throat> yeah. So Nordic is going to finish out here with a very, very good time. Oh no, he bonked. So maybe it won't be as, as far away as I think he did bonk there. But Sweener missing. But even with Sweener missing, he's still going to. The zipper, he's still going to get a decent enough time. So Nordic with the 120 flat. No bonk. Nothing until that last bonk. He was doing really well. <laughs> um. So, Sweener with this pick, we have one of each left of it. We have one of each left to be played. Uh, I wonder, I'm wondering between, so I don't think Sweener will particularly pick plane, but maybe if he picks a plane track that he's way more familiar with, he'll, um, he'll, he'll go for it. Maybe to take it away from Nordic. Um, perhaps something like a Spaceport Alpha plane. Uh, to take away an to take away like a spaceport alpha car pick, or just picking car himself for a track. Um, but I'd actually say it's likely, yeah. So he picks spaceport alpha hover. So this is also a really good pick for him because I'm pretty sure he's familiar with this track. And also, I like to see, I like seeing spaceport alpha played in other vehicles other than plane. Um, so let's see how this goes. I, I don't think these guys are very far apart in times here. Yeah, no, they're not. In fact, I think Sweener holds second. I, it looks like Sweener might even hold second place on this track. So here we go. Into Spaceport Alpha Hover. Where's he both player? So both players here likely to grab the two are going to try to grab like yeah, they're gonna grab a bunch of bananas. Oh, both players, I think, no. I think Nordic grabbed the banana, so he's at a slight banana advantage. Oh my goodness. A beautiful, 
A beautiful vet for both players, and Nordic just ever so slightly ahead, though. <clears throat> oh, both players, neither of them bonking, but Sweener had a bit of a worse laser room than, um, than Nordic. So we're going to see both players get to 10 bananas here. <clears throat> Nordic with about a one and a half second advantage at this point. Um, this would be huge for Nordic to win, because... Oh no, Sweener with a bad bonk on the corner. That's not good at all. But so, try, so Nordic's gonna have a couple seconds advantage as long as he does not bonk there, which he does not. Wow, both players with huge, very good boost there in the laser room. Hopping up and grabbing that uh, that zipper and being able to take it in a straight line is not as easy as it looks. That's very difficult. Uh, so Sweener only lost like a second because he had a very good rest of the lap apparently. Um, but Nordic just far and away, just ever so slightly ahead. He had a better vent twice than him. So pending a bad bonk here from Nordic, which can happen, and a really good laser room boost from Sweener, yeah. I think Nordic would really have to mess up here for him to lose, unfortunately, for Sweener. So this is pretty huge. Uh, Nordic winning on Sweener's pick and going up from four to three. <clears throat> we this might be the tipping point for Nordic to take some control here in the matchup, but we'll see. Now we have Car and Plane left. I wouldn't be surprised if Nordic goes for the last Plane pick because that's going to be so crucial for him to win. Because we've seen that he is just that he's been performing better on Plane than Nordic cat uh, than Sweener has today. So here's, actually it's Sweener's pick, sorry. So we have one car, one plane. Yes. So let's see where he goes for car. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for a faster track. Oh, he actually goes for Windmill Plane's car. Um, Quite an interesting pick. I wonder if he's been playing this a lot lately. I actually don't know the difference in times. Yeah, so interesting thing about this track is that Nordic's PB is actually set on PAL, but you can do you can just as easily do well on uh, NTSC for this track. So here we go into race number eight. <clears throat> so I love Windmill Plane. Windmill Plane's car is one of my favorite car tracks. It's really cool for like the guys flying and everything. Uh, looks like, I'm going to say, uh, they're probably pretty close. Uh, I'm not sure if they're 100% synced or not. That's the only thing. Uh, I actually think they are, so it looks like Sweener's a little ahead, actually. Which is really good for him on, on this pick. Because he really wants to be winning his own picks after, um, last, after losing the last track. So yeah, he has about a one second advantage and a beautiful, huge boost for both players. These guys, they're hitting those two, uh, hitting those two zippers, the two car zippers, and just pretty much taking it and trying to fly. And the worst, honestly, I think the worst thing that could happen on this um, is either a bad boost and like you mess up on it, or you um, mess up and you fall in the water. Um, Oh wow, 29 laps from Swainer. I wonder if that's a I wonder if that's close to his PB or not. So he's just far away ahead of Nordic. He has two laps that are are quite a bit faster. He's about one and a half seconds ahead. As long as he does not hit water here and doesn't really make a huge mistake, he will take this and it'll be four to four. So this would be huge because it ties the series back up. However, Nordic having I feel like I think now Nordic could have the last pick and yep. Wow, a huge, a huge time for Sweener. Um, he actually double PBs. That's that's amazing. Congratulations, dude. Yeah, that was incredible. And Nordic had a really good time as well, honestly. Like, Nordic, I think Nordic would have beaten most players, except Sweener hit a PB. That's incredible. We have 4-4 four four, um, with Nordic picking. 
Uh, so we're looking for the last plane track. So let's see what uh, Nordic's gonna pick. <clears throat> I think the plane tracks that we have left are... We only have a few plane tracks. Frosty Village, okay. Uh, this is a... I think this is actually a pretty good pick for Nordic. I really like this pick. Um, this is our first track in... Um, this is our first track in Snowflake Mountain. No, this is our second track in Snowflake Mountain. Sorry. Um, so Frosty Village Plane is fun. It's kind of neat. I wouldn't say it's necessarily fun, but it's a neat track. It features something that's, that's super weird, and I'll point it out when we get there. Because uh, it's kind of at the end, so you're going to see these players go ahead, grab the three. Try to grab their three bananas. Sweener got one, and I... Oh, no, and Sweener also missing the... The ground zipper, so Nordic is just ahead. So Nordic's gonna grab the they're both gonna go for this ground zipper here. Try to have as many kind of bananas as they can. And they're gonna take the, the zippers here. And they're gonna try and get a triple. Which they which Nordic gets a much better time whether he didn't quite have the boost up. But oh wow. So what you see there, I think I think Nordic went for it, but the um there's a, uh, a hover zipper at the end, which is only there for plane. It's not actually there for hover, which is kind of crazy. So hover, we would take more of that route, but Nordic, just having a really good Frosty Village plane, and pending a bonk, he should. I think pending a bonk, like, he's probably just a much more consistent player on this track, but however, um, Nordic's, our swingers still do well. He does take the shortcut on lap three. Both, so it's not, um, really it's only as, it's like six seconds difference and it's just on every lap like nordic's just playing better so he's gonna finish up here with a really yeah probably a 120 yeah, yeah 120 that's really good and so sweener's gonna finish up as well he'll probably get about a 127 126 yep 127 <laughs> so now that we have all we have all nine selected. Any track is available for either player to pick. Um, I love this. I love this. It's kind of like a battle of like Nordic winning the three, Nordic winning the plane tracks, Sweener winning of uh, the car, winning off of car and hover. Like both and, and both players kind of splitting car. Um, it's kind of really. It's really neat to see this. Honestly, I, I love this. Uh, so Nor so uh, Sweeter is going to come in here with this pick with everything available left on the board. Uh, any tr any track um, av left available and any vehicle for that track. I'm looking to see some form of a hover pick here. Maybe a car pick that he feels really confident on. <clears throat> yeah. I, I was gonna say a pick that I think would be really neat would be Greenwood Village Hover. Um, <laughs> so, Greenwood Village Hover, which is a track that is actually um, better on PAL than it is on NTSC. Um, Nordic holds the world record on PAL for this track. I'm pretty sure, or close to the world record. But Sweener also holding a one. Sweener holding a very respectable time on NTSC. So I really want to see how this plays out. Nordic's 117 time on his car is not is not his best. Probably not even his best on NTSC. But you he, he wouldn't be grinding it on NTSC. Um, I guess I guess Nordic must have missed. Either something's either Nordic Stream is really buffering, or um, or he missed the countdown. I think it's just buffering a lot. <clears throat> so I'm gonna focus on Sweener for now. Um, so it looks like Sweener's gonna have a 27 first clap, which is very good. Um, but I think he, I mean, he did have some difficulties in the forest on on that lap. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he has all nine. Yeah, now he has all, really all nine bananas that you pick up in Hover. Um, I think, yeah. I can't tell what Nordic has for times. I can't tell how far apart they are. 
either. It looks like Nordic had a rough first lap. He had a 31. So Sweener and Sweener with a 24 lap. That's kind of neat. He's flying over the well to get there faster. And Sweener does get a slight a slight side bonk on Hover, which isn't really bad at all. Um, all right. Yeah, but Nordic's stream, although he's moving in France, he's definitely pretty far behind Sweener. Sweener finishes the 116. Um, so, but I in kind of just telling off times, it looks like um, Nordic uh, is gonna. I don't think Nordic will finish with time better. So Sweener will take the point. Um, but yeah. So it's 122 for Nordic. So he, did, he had a good he had a good last lap. His other two laps he would likely want better. <clears throat> so it is going to be 5-5. Five, five. We have two tracks left. This track is going to be extremely important. Nordic has I think Nordic kind of has to win this. Um, he's got has to win on his pick here. Otherwise, Sweener's going to be in the driver's seat. <clears throat> I do anticipate. I, I do kind of anticipate this to go to, to go almost, I kind of wish, I want this to go to 13. Um, because these guys have been playing so well, I just love watching high level DKR. <clears throat> and we are watching two of the best time trialers we have today. <clears throat> so as, as we await Nordic's pick. <clears throat> Nordic just sorting out a couple of, of frame drop issues that he had. Um, so we'll get there as soon as uh, he picks. That Greenwood Village Hover was a great pick for Sweener. He only got about a sec he only got two seconds off of his PB in that. That was a very, very good time for him. Nordic selecting Boulder Canyon. Okay. This is an interesting pick. I think Nordic has a better time. Like, so the times aren't that dissimilar. Um, this track will likely. There's a couple of things this will come down to. Obviously, it'll always come down to your snaking and your and your a tapping with the speed. But also, it's gonna come down to. Um, but I think this will also come down to the boosting in the castle section. So we'll see how these guys do. This is a very interesting pick, especially because Sweener's such a strong PAL player. Or Nordic's, uh, Sweener's such a strong hover player. Uh, I really was expecting more of a plane pick from Nordic, if I'm being honest. Um, but hey, if Nordic feels confident he can, if Nordic wins this, and he takes a hover track off of Sweener, um, that'll be very, I think that could be a bit deflating. You could really give Nordic the advantage. But if Sweener wins this, he's one away from the finals, and, and Nordic, in, um, taking Nordic out of the tournament. Wow, so the boost difference there was kind of insane. Sweener is well out in front after that boost. Um, so yeah, uh, both players at 10, but both players at, uh, I'm not even sure if Nordic has 10 bananas. Uh, I know Sweener does. I think Nordic has less because I don't see, he, he either has nine or 10. So we'll see here. So Nordic having a much better boost than Sweener puts them at about the sync at this point. That's crazy. <clears throat> so we're gonna have a very close last lap. Oh my goodness! Let's go, guys. This this last boost can could and likely will decide um, who takes this who takes this one. Oh no! So oh wow! So Sweener, both players having opposite color boosts. This is gonna come down to it. This is a sink. Holy crap! Let's go. And oh my gosh, I think Nordic took it. Barely took it. Yep, he took it by about a frame. Or he took it by about two frames. That was so close. Oh my goodness. Now it's Sweener's pick. If Sweener had, oh my gosh, that was so close. This is amazing, guys. It, it literally came down to the boost. It just it probably only came down to hover movement in the end. And Nordic had a slightly better last section. It looked like. So, wow. GG's on Boulder Canyon for both of them. That's incredible. 
No, at least there was no log- at least there was no lo log shenanigans or anything. Yeah, Nordic's last boost was crazy, and we have Haunted Woods Hover selected. Um, so Sweener is sticking to Hover. He's gonna live and die by Hover, which is- which I- I really like to see. Um, Haunted Woods Hover, uh, I think now we have every- now every single Dragon Force track has been selected. <clears throat> the only tracks- the only tracks that would be left after this would be in Sherbert Island. Uh, Darkmoon Caverns, and then a couple of tracks in, in Snowflake Mountain. So... <clears throat> yeah. So if Nordic takes this, he will move on. And if Sweener takes this, we go to a Game 7 on Nordic's pick. We go to a, a 13th track with Nor on Nordic's pick. <clears throat> So Haunted Woods Hover is a, it's a, it's a shorter track. The fun the fun thing is, I mean, these players on the first lap, they're going to go for their bananas here. And then they're going to, but on lap two, they're, lap two and three, they're just going to skip right through the pond that you're going to see initially, right through the fountain. Both players grabbing their bananas. Actually, neither of them opting to go for that because there's so many bananas on this track. Oh, wow. Both players grabbing the boost. Oh, but Sweener having a, grabbing that second boost, he's out to a huge lead against Nordic because this track is short. So this could just come down to um, how well Nori can grab, if he can grab these two boosts. Both players hopping up on that. Wow, Sweener with two incredible boosts and Nordic with two boosts that weren't quite as good as his. Um, but Hover Movement otherwise has been really good for both players. And Sweener out to about a two second advantage here. He grabs that, grabs the next boost. He is far and away. Wow, Nordic just having so many problems on Haunted Woods Hover. So Sweener will force, we're gonna get a track 13. Wow. Let's go. A 50 for Sweener, a very, very good Haunted Woods Hover, and a 53 from Nordic. Also nothing to, also like, that's a very good time, honestly. It's just Sweener's had a better one in one try. Like, <clears throat> a lot of that, did just it just all came down to, um, to the couple of boosts that Sweener got that were better. Um, so we have track 13 on Nordic's pick. I want to see what he picks here. This is very crucial. <clears throat> Man, this is so hype. This is incredibly hype. <clears throat> There is, we have a chance here to see the number one time trialer get upset and not win. Dark Moon Caverns car. Okay, so we have Dark Moon Caverns car selected, which is a very, very tricky course. And uh, let's see how they. That this is a course that can throw you around. The terrain is really bad, um, and you'll see that throughout the whole time. Nordic, a very, very good. Dark Moon Caverns player. Uh, his PB... I'm not sure if Sweeners updated his PB, but Nordic has about a 4 second advantage on PBs um, for submissions right now. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it's true. There's about 4 seconds between them. Nordic holding a 131 and Sweener having a 135. So, a very strong pick for Nordic. Let's see if he can win this track and go to the finals. Or Sweener will complete the upset in 13. This has been so crazy. Players winning on each other's tracks. Um, just overall very strong. I, uh, whoever wins has really earned it, honestly, at this point. <clears throat> Both players very close here, but Nordic pulling a little bit ahead. Yeah, Norris gonna be ahead by a few seconds here. By like, yeah, by a few frames. He has more bananas than Sweener does, I'm pretty sure, at this point. 
So the banana is making a bit of a difference. Oh, poor boost from Sweener. Nordic pulling pretty far ahead. He had a, a little bit of difficulty, but he's on it. He's overall he's doing pretty okay. Oh, and a bonk from Nordic. A couple of really harsh bonks, and Sweener's pulled ahead. And he, <clears throat> and we only have one lap left. So Nordic's, so Sweener's gonna have to make some form of a, of a small mistake for Sweet, for Nordic to really uh, catch up. Because I'm not sure with that type of uh, time loss that Nordic took there, if he can actually, wow. Nordic just with a really, really rough Dark Moon. And Sweener is pulling ahead. Sweener's, I don't, I don't think Nordic can catch up. Wow. So Sweener is going to, Sweener, oh, there was a bonk though, but I still, I still think it's, I still think that Nord, Sweener's taking this. Yes. Holy crap, what a great match. Sweener takes it in 13. Winning Dark Moon over Nordic, a track. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Whew. What a set. GG's, man. And, and both players. Hey, Fish. Hey, what's up, Sweener? Congratulations, man. That match. Oh my gosh. I've been going nuts all match. You guys are so, uh, some incredible players. Uh, GG's Nordic and Sweener. Wow. <clears throat> Seven bit. Yes, dude. Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, was... I'm, I'm glad we could put on a show. Yeah, I'm glad you guys yeah. put on a... That was a great show, yeah. I know. Might not be... Either of yours result uh, expected results, um, but yeah, that was great play from both Sweener. I and yeah, Sweener just putting on some near PB performances uh, on some very tough tracks. Like I don't know, what were you expect? Like, how are you feeling with playing coming into this um, Sweener? <laughs> Um, playing is, cons consistent playing is very, very hard for me. I, I have not yet developed the, uh, the, uh, high tier playing specialist skill that it takes to get, uh, consistent times like some of these guys can. So I think that definitely showed tonight. Yeah, I definitely think it did. <laughs> I would agree. Yeah. Um, but, but, but that's the thing. Playing such a, playing is such a difficult vehicle to be consistent at, like you said, and, um, Oh, I also could have picked Jungle Pot's plane. I'm so oh, oh, I man. banned it. Dang it. You ban yeah, you banned Jungle Falls plane. <laughs> um I was interested yeah. by the jungle by the Jungle Falls ban, but I feel like if that was up, I think yeah, it, was it would it would have it would have been picked but with, with another vehicle likely. Um so I, I'm wondering how Nor how you were feeling coming into this match. Um because you didn't seem it's, it went as expected for me. Um <laughs> Uh, I uh, <laughs> you, ex you like, really like excelled in time, plane. Like last time, it was barely possible for me to hold the controller still. So. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. I I think I, pr I played pretty well. Yeah, no, you really did. I I. That's yeah. I think like it really took a huge performance from Sweener on some of those tracks, cause and especially and. Even like the Boulder Canyon, like that, I, I literally think it came down to like pretty much the end. Like the, your boosts on lap three, because Nordic had a green boost on the first one and Sweener had a purple boost, but then they reversed. So you guys are pretty much in sync heading into the tunnel, <laughs> heading into that last section. And I think Sweener made a slight bump, like tur made turning the corner. Actually, actually, my second boost was just. A little better fast fast enough to overtake yeah. you know, in the boost true oh yeah. okay my, my yeah it was very just laggy so it was yeah yeah that was a shame yeah but <laughs> oh my gosh i could go on and on about every single track <laughs> i felt bad car. <laughs> actually car oh my gosh you guys made like no point mistakes oh six or something yeah or it was it was less it was point zero five or something and then like i know nori had some struggles on haunted wood hover um for sure. I don't yeah. and, Again, yeah, those, those we are just putting world performance on the table. I know. 
I know. <laughs> that Wimbo Plains car, dude. Congratulations on that PB. Like Thank that you. that must have felt amazing, honestly. It, cause... I, I mean, I was laughing at myself because <laughs> I, I ground that track out for like three days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a, one, a good one, 131, and then that just happens in the race. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, I, I know that feeling completely. It's like you grind the track all these times, and then you put yourself in like a one track. So I did this in in the tournament in my matches as well. It's like I'm not doing great on these tracks, and I was like, you know, I still know them enough. I pick it and I just drop a PB, and it was huge. Like just to win a win a just to like pretty much win a track. Um, yeah, that. But but yeah, like. Congratulations to both of you guys on how far you made it in the tournament. I know, I know Nordic might not be completely happy, like because everyone wants to win. Like he's the the best. He's the best player of all yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much the best player. It was it's incredible. Yeah, like, this is completely against my expectations. Seriously, great match, man. You had some really really awesome picks in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had to end up with Dark Moon. I, I thought it was yeah. over, man. I was like, I, I know he, he's gonna pick Dark Moon. Here it comes, and then I, it happened. And I was, I like, was ah. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was expecting Treasure Case Plane. I was, ex I was expecting Dark Moon. I was expecting Treasure Case Plane to be picked from Nordic. So I can get a 58 again. So because <laughs> because Sweener was playing inconsistently on plane tracks, and and he also wasn't picking Drumstick. So, like, yeah. I, especially on Hot Top, there was such a big... I know Sweener bonked really heavily on Hot Top, but... The, the um, thing is just... Regardless, I, uh, we're so far ahead. The thing is just, I ran out of plane tracks to pick. Gotcha. <laughs> you did? Oh, no. Yeah. Because <laughs> of Jungle Falls being banned. I, I will... Fossil, yeah. Fossil Canyon Hover Agent Lake. Yeah. There wasn't was, any plane tracks besides part Treasure of my, Case. Part of my strategy, too, is because I, I know I can't play a plane consistently to save my yeah. life. So I, I really wanted to take a lot of the ones that I knew Nordic was just god tier consistent at. Yes. Uh, and I'm I'm not consistent at anything. What are you talking? About? <laughs> <laughs> well, but your Fossil you... Canyon plane is insane. So you know. yeah, I I get uh, my average is 108. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my average is 118. So don't worry. Regardless. Yeah. 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 Anyways, guys, I, I guess just just before we go to intermission, before we have a, before we have a Mega Man X any percent tournament match, which just started, I, I'm excited to get to cut, watch some of those matches. Um, any parting words before we go? Please, uh, please. please. <laughs> I mean, I'm against I'm against uh, second and third place in the world. The grand finals. Yeah, but could be uh, that, that so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, finals are gonna be incredible. We have Gizzardo Bio later this week playing their match. If you if you play hot uh, haunted woods, windmill planes, and all that stuff like you did today, you will win with no loss ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, those two guys are. Along with you at the top of the charts for planes, so it'll certainly be interesting. Yes, it will be interesting to watch. So that's gonna do it here. GG's to both of you guys. Congratulations to Sweener for making it to the finals. Congratulations to Nordic for uh, such a great performance throughout the entire tournament. Like I can't stress enough, you played so well. Like <laughs> I know, I I know, but yeah. I wanted to say GG's to all of you, and I'll talk to you. We will talk to you all later. Yep. Thanks, Bye. thanks, GSA. See ya. Thank you, guys.